Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss degree 5th sem English model paper along with solutions which is prepared on the pattern given by Usmania University. So now let us look into the question paper. Your question paper looks somewhat like this and this is a kind of uh, mock test for 5th uh, semester. So your question paper comprises of two sections, section A objective type and section B essay type. Section A comprises of 20 marks and you have to answer 5 questions. So the first question, answer as directed. A. Let us discuss about common errors in English. Make the given sentence more acceptable. There is an error in this sentence. You have to find out the error and rewrite it. So the error is there is no need of about. Let us discuss common errors in English. This is the correct sentence. B. I would like to become an astronaut. Frame a question to elicit the given answer. The question is, what would you like to become? C. I have been playing for the last three years. Frame a question to elicit the given answer. And the question is, how long have you been playing? D. Seema sings well. Add a question tag. Seema sings well, doesn't she? Now, if you remember, if this is positive and in your question tag, it will be negative. Seema sings well, doesn't she? So, this N contracted form of not should be used. Second question. Answer as directed. Hungry is to eat. Tired is to what? Choose the best alternative. So what would be the best alternative for tired? It is rest. Hungry is to eat. Tired is to rest. B. Choose the sentence that makes sense as per the analogy type. So three sentences are given. We have to find out the similarity. Salmon is a kind of fish. Rice is a type of desert. Parrot is a type of insect. So which one is more suitable? Salmon is a kind of fish is the right analogy. C. Choose the correct alternative. Amnesia is to memory. Paralysis is to what? And the answer is movement. D. Choose the odd word. Garlic, onion, radish, cauliflower. These are all vegetables but what is the odd one over there? Cauliflower is the odd one because all these three grow below the soil. And this is the only thing which grows about the soil. Next, third question. Write the past and participle form of the given verbs. The first one is drink and the past and participles are drank and drunk. B. Swim, swam and swum. Sleep, slept and slept. B. Do, did, Done. So, these are the past tenses and past participles of the given four verbs. Fourth question. A. I dash, rang or rung the bell many times but no one opened the drawer. Fill in the blank with the appropriate form of the verb. Here the past tense and the past participle are given. So, which one is more appropriate here? So, I rang the bell many times but no one open the door. So, rang is the right form of the verb. The children eat a lot of chocolates in the party. Fill in the blank with the past or past participle form of the verb and the answer is ate. The children ate a lot of chocolates in the party. My mother laughed. Identify the verb either as transitive or intransitive. So, this is the verb laughed. And you have to identify whether it is transitive or intransitive. Hope you all remember the grammar lesson. If the verb is followed by an objective, then it becomes a transitive verb. If the verb is not followed by an objective, it is intransitive. For example, here it is my mother laughed. So the answer is intransitive verb because there is no object. Suppose if the sentence was like this, my mother laughed at the children. So, if at the children objective was there, object was there, then it would have become a transitive verb. So, D. It rained hard yesterday. Underline the verb 
and state whether it is transitive or intransitive. Which is the verb? It is rained. Uh, so because it is followed by the object, it rained hard yesterday. It is a transitive verb. Fifth question. Please remember to telephone to them or telephone them after you reach. Choose the correct alternative. So which one is the correct answer there? Telephone them. Please remember to telephone them after you reach. Slapstick means what? Choose the correct alternative. This is from the technical vocabulary. This is very important aspect of your part A. Students, all of you should prepare all the words which are given under technical vocabulary. Here I have given only three or four words, but you have to learn each and every word given under technical vocabulary. So what does the slapstick means? Music that goes with the film, a posterious comedy with absurd situations and pranks, story of the lives and actions of a family, the first showing of a film. So what is the answer? A posterious comedy with absurd situations and pranks is called as slapstick. This is from the film vocabulary. C. Premiere means choose the correct alternative. What is the correct alternative? What is the meaning of uh, premiere? It is the first showing of a film. A biography that treats its subject with undue reverence. So what is the answer? The hagiography hey is the correct answer. This is the biography which uh, treats its subject with undue reverence. Reverence means respect and regard. Let's move on to the next question. Sixth, a work that imitates, makes fun of or comments on an original work. Choose the correct alternative. Irony, epic, parody and polemical. The answer is parody. Everyone feel happy the weather be good. Pre-write the given sentence using if. This is from the last uh, part, the third unit students, uh, conditionals. So there are five types of conditionals. You have to learn all the five types of conditionals. And uh, what is the answer for this question? Everyone feels happy if the weather is good. Is, it the, is the verb form of be here. So depending upon the verbs only, the conditions make a meaning students. So all the five you have to learn. C. A film about cowboys in Western North America. Choose the correct alternative. Melodrama, stereotype, foil and western. So which is the correct answer? Western is the correct answer. That is the film about cowboys. A narrator who knows the thoughts and feelings of all the characters in the story. What, what is he called? Omniscient or personification? It is omniscient. Seventh question. We would have arrived on time if you dash give the right directions. Choose the correct alternative. Given, had given, gave or will have given. This question is also from the last unit that is third unit conditionals. The answer is had given. We would have arrived on time if you had given the right directions. B. My college is about 10 kilometers from home. Frame a Question, how far is your college from home? He can walk fast. Add a question tag. He can walk fast, can't he? I told you, if this is positive, this will be negative. Can becomes can't in the question tag. D, Tina has sent an email to all vendors. Fill in the blank with the correct form of the verb. So, Tina has sent... So this is the present perfect tip. Perfect tense has sent. Tina has sent an email to all vendors. Let us move on to the last question of section A. Eighth. The meeting is pre -poned. Make the sentence more acceptable. This is Indian English and we have to make it into native speakerism. The meeting is advanced is the right sentence. Illusion, dream, derision, vision. Choose the odd word. So, which is the odd word? Vision is the odd word. These are all imaginary words and this is the true phenomenon. C. 
the story of the lives and actions of a family choose the correct alternative melodrama slapstick family saga foil and the answer is family saga b if she prepare well she answer all the question choose the correct forms of the verb again this is from the conditionals five types of conditionals you have to learn and the answer is if she had prepared well she would have answered all the questions so these are the eight questions from section a students you are supposed to answer any five let us move on to section b that is part b you have to answer four questions with an internal choice so four questions are given and you have to answer all the questions each question carries 50 marks that is 4 into 15 is 60 marks paper so ninth a why would the mother not let anyone cut the trees what does this suggested so this uh, is from the poem ecology and uh, i have given uh, video students and the link is given here you can just uh, go through the video if you are interested so here the mother why would the mother mother not let anyone cut the trees she has a lot of reverence to the trees and she worships the tree in spite of her uh, declining health she does not allow anyone to cut those trees that is the, her sentiment or b what examples does the author cite to show the craze for english in korea why are the chinese learning english is large in large numbers which unconventional method of teaching english does the author mention so you all remember the lesson uh, students the future of uh, the languages so the lesson's name is what's the language of the future and this is a question asked uh, from that so what examples does the author cite you remember the author's name it is henry hitchings and uh, he writes very well about the future of english language and he also says that english has spread far and wide developing by leaps and bounds we cannot imagine the speed with which english is growing in the world so he says some rich koreans uh, pay for their children to have an operation that lengthens the tongue because it helps them speak english convincingly so this is the example he tells that the koreans get their children operated undergo surgery and then he also uh, says that why does uh, the why are the chinese learning english in large numbers he says that uh, english in china great number of students are learning the language li yang an entrepreneur has developed crazy english an unorthodox teaching method this is unconventional method he talks about it and his slogan is conquer english to make china strong this is an irony which is against their country that was the unconventional method he uh, designed and it is something like china's english fever and the strong belief is that learning english is the essential skill for surviving in the modern world so you have to write about all those uh, important aspects of learning english this is from the lesson what's the language of the future 10th question list the various tasks the girl is being trained to perform can you divide the various tasks into different categories such as domestic tasks etc and uh, this question is taken from the poem girl so what are the various tasks Uh, the mother instructs her daughter on how to do the things like laundry sewing ironing cooking table arranging sweeping and washing and the girl's mother also teaches her how to do other things she'll need to know such as how to create herbal remedies and how to catch a fish and all those things and uh, uh, you have to divide the tasks into the various categories so domestic ones are there herbal remedies are there and then uh, the mother also gives warning such as not to squat down to play marbles remember and uh, like a boy not to pick people's flowers not to throw stones at the blackbirds 
not to walk bareheaded in the hot sun, not to sing Bena in Sunday school, and not to eat fruits on the street. So all those tasks she gives. Tenth B, who does the campaign he or she seek to involve? What is the main objective of the campaign? So you remember this question is taken from the lesson gender equality is your issue too. So uh, what does the campaign he or she seek to involve? It seeks to involve men and people of all genders to stand in solidarity with women to build a bold, visible and united force for gender equality. So it is focusing on gender equality and the main objective of the campaign is to persuade the audience that gender disparity must be addressed with men and women acting as champions for equality. So here Emma Watson gives a beautiful speech about this campaign and she talks about all the factors which are responsible to be addressed in, in the modern world. So next question, describe the structure of a film review. This is from the uh, last unit, that is the third unit writing section. So this uh, question, you all remember, it is taken from the last lesson, that is review writing, how to write review. And here you have to write the structure of a film review. First, you have to write about the title or headline in an interesting manner. It should be short and catchy. That is the first and foremost thing you have to remember. Then the subhead. So some kind of adjectives you have to use or the taglines you have to use uh, to, to the main title. And then comes the introduction should be very lively and very catchy. And the introduction should tell what about the film. Then your analysis comes. You, in the analysis, you have to write what genre does the film belong to. And then the music, the plot, characters, songs, cinematography. Everything comes under the analysis. Then the last paragraph comprises the conclusion. And uh, the conclusion is the review. It presents a summary of the entire movie. So that is about the film review. Then the next question or you can also write about uh, describe the structure of a book review. So while writing the book review, you have to write about the title of the book the author of the book and uh, if any uh, biography of the author, if you know, you can also write about the author. Then the structure of the book you have to write, number of the chapters or different titles. And if any disclaimer is there also, you can write. And what type of book it is, that means the genre again, whether it is imaginative or practical or fiction, uh, you have to write. And then in the content, you have to write what is the book about and in the form you have to write how is it done means in what form it is written then the theme what is the abstract idea of that book then the subject you have to write so you have to concentrate on the manifestation of the idea how he has really disclosed the idea then uh, form means it includes everything that a writer uses to transfer or transmit the content then you can also write about the language, style, narrative technique, point of view, setting, symbolism, imagery, etc. in the book review. And the last question that is 12th A, explain the difference between a book report and a book review. So as you all know, a book report is an objective summary of the main ideas and arguments that the book's author has presented. And a book review, you will be writing the entire thing about the book. You will be giving your point of view, uh, the type of book, everything you will be writing. So write the differences very clearly. And the last question, explain how understanding gender as a spectrum instead of as a binary will free both men and women. So this is again from the uh, second unit. Gender is your issue too. That is the unit students. So first thing you have to understand that there is a difference between gender and binary. Binary means only male and female. We talk about sexes, male and female. Whereas gender, you know, it is different. It is what 
a person thinks in his or her mind uh, and the plurals his or and her also should not be used students only them have to be used if you are talking about a gender so it is a spectrum spectrum means it's a pattern it's not a confined picture of a person uh, like in binary male or female so when if a if all of us are in a position to understand about the gender as a spectrum then you know we will be broadening our horizon and we will be able to maintain peace and harmony in the society there are many people who are suffering from these gender issues because of the lack of understanding so you have to write about the gender as a spectrum it's not a binary it's not only a binary so these are the things you have to write in the examination students study well and prepare well and if you have any queries you can put them in the comment section thanks for watching and if this tutorial had made sense please uh, like share and uh, do not forget to subscribe that means a lot for me okay bye bye for now and uh, let's meet up in the next video bye take care